Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Misha. Thank you guys for joining me yet again for another review. We are back with a brand new review for Love After Lockup. I'm sorry, Life After Lockup. Season three, episode 60 something, child. I plead the fifth. Now listen, I know I had fell off the Life After Lockup train, but listen, Deontay is on his way to the wedding. So I had to jump back on the train. Plus, on was playing in my face and there was no ready to love tonight so i'm here with y'all let's get into it if we gonna get into it if you are new here then welcome i give lighthearted reviews with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of shade and a whole lot of detail if you are back for a second or third time then child welcome back i'm so sorry i kept y'all waiting let's get into it when so y'all know last episode Deontay's mama stopped the bus honey I don't know if it was the short yellow bus that Deontay got off of or what was going on but she stopped the bus and now we're here so they're all at Deontay's house right and they're talking his mom and his friend Derek they're like why do you want to go to her wedding and I mean that's what we all want to know why and he said you know what are you gonna be you're gonna be a groomsman you're gonna be a bridesmaid well uh technically okay Derek they're a throuple so it's his wedding too <laughs> If I propose to Nicole, then somehow it's like I'm proposing to Deontay. Because if Deontay wants Nicole, then I'll, you know, if I don't get my surgery, I'm not going to be able to get married to Nicole. So then she's going to have to marry Deontay. I'm just saying, Derek, I'm just trying to give you what it is. <laughs> oh, child, this show. Oh, my goodness. It's a mess. So Derek is hot, okay? He is hot because he is trying to explain to his friend that this is not the move. And I don't blame him. Now, that's a real friend, okay? That is a real friend. Moving forward. So his mom is telling him to walk away and forget he ever knew prison Barbie. That's what we want him to do, mama, but he ain't listening. He's like, you know, nobody understands. It's like, you know, I have different voices in my head. You sure you ain't got marbles in your head? Honey, just rolling around? Because this don't make no sense. Deontay, let it go. So Derek is trying to figure out what they share because Deontay's like, you know, we shared so much. He said, what did y'all share? Honey, they ain't sharing nothing but that debit card. That is all that they shared. And Derek said the exact same thing. So then his mom says, son, she won't even be intimate with you. This is a scheme, honey, and a plot that Todd set up to come at us with the bush. Shout out to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like this, not, listen, Deontay, okay, because she's starting to get on my nerves, okay? Now, I don't know if they paying you to act this way, or I don't know if you really acting this way, but this don't make no sense. Leave Nicole where you found her. He's like, mama, you know, she cries at the sight of me. A lot of us do. That don't mean we want to be in a relationship with you. <laughs> we all cry when we see you, Deontay. Oh, child, this is a mess. Oh, child, this is a fool. Moving forward. So he said, I can tell she's being manipulated. His mama said, so you can tell when she's being manipulated, but you can't tell when you being manipulated. You know what, mama, don't even worry about that. Stop the bus. I'm gonna have to send you a speak your speech mug because baby, that right there, honey, you could have ended the episode right there. You can tell when she's being manipulated, but not you. Okay. So they're trying to get through to him, child, but it ain't working. He's being hard headed. And my grandma always told me a hard head make a soft behind. And baby, she ain't never lied. Maybe if he sees Nicole and Tim getting married, then he'll move on. Moving forward, Brittany and Ray Ray. Child, we back in the H. Ray is trying to put together an outfit to meet his soon-to-be warden-in-law. And Brittany is trying to offer him some style advice. And girl, baby, go on, sit this one out. <laughs> girl, go ahead and clock out for me. And it is no way on God's green earth that you need to be helping him pick out an ensemble. I'm just saying. So Ray back in that blue shirt, right? I know you're used to one color coordinate for years on end, but do you own anything other than that blue collared shirt? You don't have to wear that blue shirt every time you see somebody or every time you go somewhere. It's okay to wear something a little different, but I noticed it was Brittany putting you back in that blue shirt. She's trying to institutionalize you on the slick, honey. Open your eyes, stay woke. So they go to the door because the mom and the father are coming over. They go to the door and the parentals are there for dinner. So her mom comes in with her nose turned up, child, and we cocks to the side. So her mama starts asking questions. She's like, so where did you grow up? He said, I grew up in the humble area. She said, oh, so you grew up in the suburbs. He said, yeah, a baby humble the hood too. Child, don't get it twisted, honey. For those of you that are not from Houston, my entire family grew up on that north, okay? And humble is the hood. Some parts of humble are hood, okay? Don't let it fool you. It might be a house on this street, but that don't mean it ain't getting raided later on tonight. 
I mean, now it's not as hood as most areas, but they get ratchet too. I'm just saying. So she's like, so you just fell in with the wrong crowd. So then he explains to her that his mom passed away and he fell in with the wrong crowd. And I can see that happening. And I really feel bad that he had to go through that because it might be something that he needs to talk to somebody about. I don't think he's fully over, you know, what he went through as a child. I could just tell the way he was talking to her mom and her wig that something is really still bothering him about that. And I mean, who wouldn't be bothered by that if your mom is taken from you suddenly? So I think instead of them trying to figure out if he has six check stubs and his social security number, they need to be figuring out if it's someone he needs to talk to so that he doesn't fall back into the wrong things like child. Anywho, that's just a side note. That's why you got to be careful of the company that you keep moving forward. So she continued to ask him questions and he basically gave her the rundown, but he let her know that he said to himself that he should stop because they were like, did you ever look at yourself and say, maybe I should stop this? And he said, yeah, I did. You know, I looked at myself and I said, maybe I should stop, but he didn't. So then she asked if he could still buy a home and you know, things like that. He said, yeah, I can, but I have restitution. No, Ray Ray, no, do not tell this woman all that. She's already judging you. She already don't like you too tough. Please do not tell this woman about their restitution. And why are you drinking this beer? Let me tell you something. With a woman like her, honey, I would have had a glass of hot tea. I would have been sitting there in a church suit with some pointy toed, hard heel, hard sole shoes on. I would have been reading a scripture from the Bible. Honey, I would have baked some porridge, honey, anything. Cause I don't want her mama in her wig asking me no questions. Now you about to tell her about this restitution child is a fool but child is continue so then he tells them that the restitution is a hundred and forty three thousand dollars she said uh you know we know people make mistakes and that is okay if it's somebody else's daughter but this daughter is mine child ain't nobody worried about Brittany so he tells them that the restitution is not on Brittany but if he doesn't pay that they could violate him and send him back to prison so in the little confessional in the bedroom her mom goes could she have done better? I mean, why didn't she choose a mate that didn't have a record? Honey, it's that wig. That wig attracted cell block D. <laughs> Child, I'm just playing. Oh, y'all know I'm just kidding. But lady, get to know him first before you judge him. Ugh. He seems more level-headed than Brittany. Child, Brittany trying to blow money that he ain't even got. But we're going to get to that as we get into it. Child, anyway, Child just had to do it. Child, she got that same wig on. Y'all know I hate a bad wig. Uh, $143,000 is a whole lot of checks though. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'd be able to do it. I mean, mm, yeah, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Ray better um parlay this screen time into something else. Child sitting up in his skin and agreeing with that blue shirt on. You better be trying to figure out how to make this into a hustle. Puppy and Amber. Puppy goes to visit her mom. Hey mom. And you know, she's telling us that she's been sick. She's been doing chemotherapy because she has tumors and she's really not in a place to give puppy any advice, but she needs it so they start talking about amber and eric and eric and amber and amber and puppy honey it's just so many things intertwined with puppy honey they start talking about that and then she tells her about the warrant that they have out for her because they were told that she didn't live there and i'm gonna just say this i'm gonna tell y'all straight up it would have been on sight do y'all hear me on sight for whoever told them that i would be pissed like, you know, I'm on probation slash parole slash whatever else begins with a P and you gonna tell these people that I don't live here, but puppy, this is your fault. Okay. And I'm gonna gather you in just a minute. So she said, you know, if I turn myself in, I'm going to be getting at least two years. But if I don't turn myself in, then I don't know what's going to happen. It could be more. So then her mom is telling us, you know, I'm really sad that if she turns herself in, I may not be here when she gets out. And this is what I want to say to you, puppy. I'm speaking directly to you. I never understood why you would play with your freedom like that. I don't understand how people do that. You know, just do the right thing. At least let everyone in the house know to look out for you if you're not going to do the right thing. And was it really that serious for you to go over here and lay up with Eric that you couldn't tell the, that you couldn't stay where these people paroled you to? Like that just don't make no sense, honey. This is all your fault. Sean and Sarah so this man has convinced her to move in child and it must have been a while in between because seasons have changed now it was winter during the fight now she has on shorts and a tank top and I know it didn't get that hot that she has on shorts and a tank top as she's moving in and ain't no way okay and I said ain't no way it ain't no way that I'm moving my child in with Sean absolutely not oh no ma'am but I mean, I guess she forgave him. So for her, it's okay. Child, please. 
moving forward so she moves in and starts putting up her pictures to make herself more at home and she's like you know my mom really isn't happy that we're moving in with sean i don't blame her i don't blame her not one bit who in their right mind would want their daughter and their granddaughter living with sean he seems sketchy like i don't know how you don't look at sean and see sketch child i don't know maybe it's just me honey maybe that's just me so Sean asked Sarah's daughter to check her new room because he has a surprise for her. He's like, you know, I really want to show Sarah that I can be a good stepdad. Try to be a good real dad first. Okay, try to be a good dad to your children. Sean makes my skin crawl. Like he's just such a deadbeat. Ugh. So he shows her her room and her new bed. Honey, I wouldn't let him be alone with my daughter. I'm sorry, I don't trust nobody with my child. Okay, you see too many stories about people and their ways. I just couldn't do it, honey. I just couldn't do it. So the producer asked if they wanted to have kids together. And he said, you know, well, I have six already. So, I mean, I'm not saying that we want kids. Well, honey, word on the curb is your little nasty self been hunching and Sarah is now pregnant. Now, I don't know how true it is, but that's what the streets are saying. So she got upset at his answer and I'm not sure why. Girl, it's not a bad thing. Trust me. It's a blessing. So she gets up and she walks away. Moving forward. Brittany and Ray Ray. Brittany's birthday is coming up and she wants to go to Miami. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. Shout out to Will Smith because it's her birthday. Okay. Go shawty. It's your birthday. Shout out to 50 Cent. So it's her birthday and it's her first time celebrating with Ray Ray. So he's like, well, I mean, I need to ask if I can go. He's like, so are we going to be able to afford, you know, bottles and the club? And I mean, Miami is expensive. And let me just say this, baby. He is so right, but it is so worth it. I love me some Miami. I love Miami. Do y'all hear me? I remember I went to Miami and I spent $40 on a drink once. I mean, granted, it was a large and in charge type drink, but it was still $40. I was like, oh my gosh, and I was losing my mind, child. But those were the good old days. Child, now you couldn't get me to spend 40 cents on a Coca-Cola, okay? Even if they won't sell. Child, I am cheap. Do you hear me? So Brittany, of course, feels like she needs it. And she's like, you know, I really think we need it. I think we need to go on a vacation, babe. Child, she's not thinking about him and his worries because she never is. So he asked her who was supposed to be coming. And she's like, you know, my sister and a few other people. She's like, I want us to be normal. Because, you know, with a probation officer, you're free, but you're not all the way free. Well, child, I'm sure he thinks about that every time he get home from work. He's probably like, I'm free, bro, but I'm not actually free. <laughs> especially, especially when you got to come home to Brittany. Child, this is a mess. Moving forward. But uh, Brittany, honey, this is what you signed up for. Okay, normal is this. This is the new normal for y'all, honey, as of right now. Brittany is so selfish in her thought process. It's like every time she speaks, it's all about, I need to get pregnant because I'm getting older. Babe, I'm ovulating. Why don't you stay in the house with me? I'm off of work today. Oh my gosh, we need to go to Miami. I don't care if you're gonna um, you know, violate your probation and possibly get arrested at the airport. We really need this. Like everything is about her. It's just so annoying, child. Ugh, I can't stand it. She's like, you know, this will be the perfect time for him to propose to me. Girl, but what money? Last time we checked, he had a $77 check. Girl, goodbye. Lacey and Shane. She's still looking him upside his head and complaining. Ugh, she's another one that gets on my nerves. So she said telling Shane she regrets marrying him was her moment of anger. Shane needs to leave her be, okay? She all love you, Shane. She all love you. So why are you staying with her? I'm just, I'm just so confused. So then she says, you know, I didn't mean I didn't love you. I mean, I felt disconnected girl please so Shane said you know we have a little girl so you know we really have to make it work I don't want to lose my family so Lacey is sitting there crying and lying with her Kim K voice knowing John is in the back of her mind child after all this she's like you know I don't want another man uh, you know and I know that you don't want another woman well the way you were making it seem it sounded like you thought he wanted another man girl goodbye puppy and Amber Puppy FaceTimes Amber to tell her what her mom said about turning herself in. And Amber's like, look, let me call my PO and see what she says you should do. Because, I mean, she would know better than anybody else. So Eric comes in and Puppy got a full on attitude. And he's like, what's wrong with you? Honey, I'm, I'm like, yes, girl, what is wrong with you? But anywho, she tells him about the warrant. And this dude suggests that she runs. What kind of influence is he? 
He's like, you know, if she's living her best life, I mean, she needs to be free. I mean, we gotta go. That's what it is. Sir, she cannot become a fugitive because you want her home at night. It's not going to go away. She's going to have to handle this. So then he sends her a text saying, will you marry me? She's like, are you serious? He said, I texted her, didn't I? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, how romantic. Forget the grand rising text in the morning, honey. Text me a proposal, child. The way I hollered when I saw that text, I said, now will you marry me? She's like, you know, I'm surprised and I'm happy to know that he cares. And child, she put that ring on, but she showed an answer. Did y'all notice that? Baby Amber gonna be pissed. Do y'all hear me? Sarah and Sean. Back over in Ohio, Sarah is mad at his answer about the kids. She said it's something we both allegedly wanted. Child, she been locked up so long, she's saying allegedly for everything. Sarah, it's okay, honey. You can just say it was something we both wanted. <laughs> you can say that. Baby, Sean was lying, girl. He'll say anything to get some. All he does is lie. Now, apparently she's pregnant now, and that was probably to make us stay, honey, or make us shut up or something. Child, I don't put nothing past Sean. He's like, you know, it came out wrong. Stop lying, Sean. Just stop it. You said it and you meant it. He spends 99% of his time apologizing about what he meant to say or what he didn't say that he should have said and about, like, just tell the truth. I couldn't be with Sean. You will forever have to question every single thing that he told you on a daily basis. Everything that he says is anchored in a lie. He's like, you know, I don't want to jinx it. That's what I was trying to say. She's like, that's not what they asked you, though. He said, you know, I, I must have misunderstood the question. Ugh. Then all of a sudden, it's wintertime again. She puts that coat back on and walks down the driveway saying she's done. I'm done with you. Girl, how you gonna be done? Girl, where's your daughter? She's like, I just wanna go home. Don't y'all live there now? Okay, we TV. We TV. Now get it together, honey. This ain't making no sense, okay? Because I specifically remember them living there in the summertime. Now they back in the wintertime with that North Face jacket on and she got them little furry boots on. Like, apple bottom jean boots with the fur. <laughs> Shout out to Florida. Like, this ain't making no sense, We TV. Child, y'all getting sloppy. Moving forward, Lacey and Shane. 48 hours later, Shane is in handcuffs, so somebody's in handcuffs, child, and Lacey is on the couch, so the producers are asking, what happened? She's like, you know, I really can't talk about it right now, but we got in a huge fight because he asked about John, and I just told him, girl, shut up. So the production is asking her, well, how bad is it? And she doesn't want to answer. She said, you know, we, we got into it, and I called John, and we had sex all night. Girl, go to hell, respectfully. You do not want Shane. You are playing with his life. He's still young. Go get John and let this young man get his life back on track. Baby Lacey is a trash bag. And that was the end of the episode. Child, y'all know I couldn't leave without bringing y'all something on a Friday night. I, mean, I had to say something to y'all because y'all are my people. Please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell me exactly what you thought about this episode. And I cannot wait to see Deontay in that tux. Looks like he's getting arrested, honey. And I can't wait to get into it as I get into it. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, spread love, not germs. Peace.